gentleness and balanced vibrations to everyone. And thank you, thank you, thank you for taking another amazing trip with us today on the Astral Quest, which is definitely an amazing, expansive adventure through the universe. Obviously, today I was unable to broadcast live to you, but that actually gave us more time to put this together for you perfectly so that you can clearly see the information that will be transmitted today because it's actually a major key in how everything really works here in the universe and more importantly in your innerverse. So I do want to tell people today that I'm going to work my hardest to actually transcend the character known as Seven or James or whatever people may know or think that I am and actually channel everything, meaning I'm realizing that the most power that we can ever, ever assess and ever put within is to not divide ourselves and to actually put ourselves back into the state in which we originally came from. And that actually gets us to the title of today's show. The title of today's show is Immaculate Inception. And that in itself brings somewhat of an enigma. So first I wanted to just answer the question of what, does, what is an immaculate inception? And of course, immaculate is something that is without flaw. It is flawless, spotless, stainless. And then of course, an inception is actually the origin point. It's what occurs first. Like if you look at your dictionary, you'll find inception as the establishment or starting point of something's beginning. And that even gets us into a deeper tent, something that comes before conception, which is how you come into the world. Your mother conceived you, but that's a secondary process. So understand today we're going to talk about inception, which is the first process of how you are in your primordial state, your primordial being. Um, I'm going to glance off today off to the left a little bit. You'll see that. And it's because my notes are here. And obviously I'm going to get that together in the studio. But even daily as we put this together and we perfect this for you, there's lots of things going on in the studio where we're having the real experience of what accompanies this expansion. We're not talking about something that is just words. We're talking about something that has all of the energy and all the essence associated with it to get you to where you need to go vividly. We only deal with vivid things. We don't deal with placebos. So the first way I really have to begin this is again with the origin point. It is important now for everyone to see that what I have to explain to you, you're not going to see with your physical eyes because it is above the speed of light. So what's first important is for us to see ourselves as this solar body. And in every tense, a solar body is masculine and feminine. It has transcended a state of duality and arrive even beyond androgynous to a completely collected and formed being that we call a supreme being. We all have a connection with that because it is a totality of all things. So first and foremost, I will begin to explain to people that the origin point, moving above the speed of light, is an area in particular that we can call the limitless. 